Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the good, the bad, the ugly of real estate. I'm Rebecca Yusan, and I am so excited to share my guest today. You all know that I am super passionate about helping real estate agents build big, huge businesses. So I love doing that. And quite a few years ago, I teamed up with EXP Realty, and that has just lit everything on fire and just things are just really good. So today we have a very special guest who became one of my besties about six months ago. This is Kyle Lounsbury. Kyle, welcome hey, to the Good Family of Real Estate. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm stoked to be here with you. Awesome. Well, we are happy to have you because we know you have a really great, interesting story and we want you to share it with the world. So with that, Kyle, can you tell us how long you have been a licensed real estate agent? Yeah, I got launched uh, October of 2021. So it's been a year and a half in uh, officially uh, in real estate. I had been an investor, uh, I guess up until 2012 was when I started dabbling in real estate and learning about it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So what are the markets that you're currently serving? I serve Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. So outside of between the Philadelphia and Baltimore markets, some people don't know where Delaware is. Like, where is that state? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the beautiful state, the diamond state of Delaware along the 95 corridor. So you're just down the road from me. Just down the road on 95. That is right. So, but honestly, that sounds like a huge area for most people to cover three states. How far would you drive for a listing or a buyer? Yeah. So uh, to cover those three states, it's about an hour radius around me. And that was kind of my goal when I got started is I wanted breath. I didn't want to be able to tell a buyer or even a seller um, that, hey, I can't serve you. I'm not licensed in that state. So um, I wanted an hour radius around me. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of uh, the beaches are about an hour and a half from me. So if it's, you know, reasonable, I'll, I'll drive a little bit further south. For the right price, I am sure yeah. you will drive. Yeah, that's pretty cool to have three states within an hour drive. That's that's pretty cool. So, OK, so tell me, when did you first hear about EXP Realty? Oh my goodness, <clears throat> it's a little bit of a longer story, but in short, hey. um, I was in a transition of life. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 11 and always enjoyed serving people and helping people and filling needs. Um, and I had um, had a transition of life. I, I was actually out of a job. I got fired uh, in short. And so for about six weeks, I said, God, what do you want me to do? You've given me all these talents and abilities, and I have a passion for helping people. And so I retook a lot of personality tests, um, sat with a lot of counselors and close friends and said, all right, what direction should I go in? Um, like I said, I dabbled in real estate as an investor and read a lot of books um, since 2012. And August 1, I said, all right, I'm going to jump into real estate. But during that six weeks period of time, the interim, uh, someone called me up who I'd only met twice and said, Hey, Kyle, uh, we're looking for an assistant cross country coach for a uh, private school up here. And I had a background. I was a D one, uh, cr cross country and track coach or cross country and track runner. And, what? uh, it, yeah, I, <laughs> I had run once and, um, and so I you had run once. Okay. You're so modest. <laughs> So some of those leftovers have spoiled, but uh, I can still get up, get up and go a little bit. So uh, I said yes, even though it didn't make sense. And so I was coaching uh, Sophia Kennard and uh, she mentioned to her dad, hey, my real estate or my coach is becoming a real estate agent. This was August 1 when I pulled the trigger. And so uh, Dave and Kristen were coming around practice and I got to know them, had a short little conversation with them. I didn't know who they were. Um, and I just mentioned I was going into real estate and he's like, let's grab lunch sometime. And so I'm 15 minutes before we sit down to grab lunch. 
I Google his name and I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm sitting down with a who's who in real estate. Yes. Uh, and so, but, you know, Dave is absolutely amazing. Kristen is just a joy to be around. They're so authentic. And I think I've only seen them one time in a suit, but we had lunch and we connected a lot. And um, next thing you know, you know, a couple of weeks later, they're inviting me up for dinner and I proceed. He's like, hey, let's get started, right? You're, you're, you've got, you passed your test, you've gotten licensed, let's go. And I proceeded to tell him, well, I've got six other interviews lined up with other brokerages because I didn't know what I didn't know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's okay. And, that's what you're supposed to do. And so that's how I heard about eXp. But from the beginning, I was like, all right, this has got my eye because of my background and kind of who I am and how I grew up and some of the industries I've been with in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, you yeah. definitely got lucky with that connection. That's yeah, and valuable. For those that don't know, Dave uh, and Kristen, right? Dave is the president of EXP for North America. So. <laughs> yeah, kind of a big deal. That's yeah. so cool. But he's just a normal, cool person, right? And yep. he is, I'm sure, laser focused on helping you have huge success. And yes. that's what matters. So did you end up going on those six interviews? I did. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, the one thing I was looking for, Rebecca, and this is what I told Dave and Kristen is I said, Hey, I'm looking for heart, right? Cause I want to be in business with people that I want to be in business with. I don't care uh, what that business does. I want to know who you are. Right. There's a great book uh, by Simon Sinek. I think it's uh, start with why, but I wanted to know the why behind the what, what drives people. And so as I was sitting down with all those other brokerages, as I was asking some pretty crazy questions, some heartfelt questions, and I wanted to know what drove them, uh, what their long-term vision was and such. And I felt that from Dave and Kristen. And now I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Um, and so, yeah, the second thing I was looking for was, hey, you got to make money. Uh, so it had to make sense financially. And again, not knowing what I didn't know, uh, what other models were out there. Um, and I quickly found out no one matched what EXP was doing and who they were and their hearts. And the, the exciting thing about this was everything that Dave said, everything that I've seen and read and talked to different people it was verified. I hadn't sold a house, Rebecca. The ink was barely wet. And Dave gave me a special invite um, to go to Puerto Rico and hang out with the top 50 agents in the company. Stop and so I'm it. there. Yeah, I'm there. I don't know anything. Okay. Hadn't sold a house, nothing. And okay. everybody was treating me as if I was selling a hundred million dollars a year or more. Yep. Right. Uh, and I'm a runner by background. I found out the founder, Glenn Sanford, is a runner. So I'm going out there in the morning and going for a run. And next thing you know, Glenn's walking out of the hotel. And I was like, hey, Glenn, do you mind if I join you for a run? And so he's like, yeah, let's run. And so we're out there hanging out for 30, 40 minutes. And I was like, can I grab a picture with you afterwards? We're all hot and sweaty. And so we're grabbing a picture. And he's like, hey, listen, I'm going to be running uh, same time tomorrow if you want to join me. And so I run with him the next day, right? Billionaire, right? Yeah. I haven't sold a house. <laughs> and we're running together and we finish up running. And he's like, hey, Kyle, can I grab a picture with you? And he pulls out his cell phone and snaps a picture with us. And I'm like, and that is why EXP is absolutely amazing because the heart right, of people from the founder all the way down is felt throughout the organization. So yep. that's what I love. I, yep. I love Glenn Sanford. He is the most humble person you will ever meet. And he's not afraid to give away the spotlight. He knows that all together we're making EXP. It's not just him. So I yeah. just love that about him. That is the best story. <laughs> Someday you're going to tell that one on stage. I'm sure of it. So tell me, how has your life changed since you've come on board with EXP and all the partners that we have? 
Yeah, there's been a lot of changes. Uh, like I said, I went through a, a big life transition and such, but yeah, that was joy. kind of scary for you. I remember you told me about it. That was rough. Yeah, going from a corporate job and I had an entrepreneurial spirit, but I had never jumped in with two feet. And a lot of people go part time into real estate, and I'm not against that, but. Uh, I'm a kind of like, hey, let's go all in kind of person. And, um, you know, it's been an absolute joy because you are your own boss. You get to create your schedule. The downside of that is you get to create your own schedule and you get yes. the results and consequences of that. But I, I love it. I was at peace from the very beginning. And uh, though there may be some tension um, and pressures there with being a business owner, there's an absolute joy because the people you're accountable to is your customers, your clients. And I just have a passion for helping people and I will go to the ends of the earth to help them achieve their goals and dreams. And so uh, I wake up every day and I just say, Jesus, thank you so much that I get to go serve your people and steward your people. And I get to do what I do every single day. So that's kind of my attitude about it. Oh my gosh, Kyle, I know your business is I know it's already successful, but I mean, you are building the base of a business mm -hmm. that will last for generations, if that's what you yeah. want. But if you keep yeah. doing what you're doing, that's what those activities and that heart, that's what it builds. So, oh, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited oh, with you. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. So tell me, EXP has so many things to offer agents and constantly adding more and more. So there's something for everyone. Is there something that you've seen that EXP is offering now that you've said, hey, you know what? I really want to get involved in that. Yeah. You know, one of the big things, like I said, I interviewed six other brokerages is no one was offering the opportunity to create ongoing, if you want to call it passive income, right, of other revenue streams and, and true ownership, right? Um, I, I would sit down with those brokerages and I was like, hey, what do you have for passive income? When I'm gone, what is going to pay my kids' kids? And I didn't want to do work for just me today. I wanted to create a legacy that was beyond me. Um, and so they would like, well, you can buy a house and rent it out, right? And I'm like, I know all that. I've done that. Um, I know the, uh -huh. the results of those things. I know how much money and pain and, uh, you know, effort that takes. So uh, EXP uh, has a model that truly is people helping people. And you have the ability to duplicate yourself. I like to say, if you could put yourself in a photocopier and make 10 of you, right? how many houses could you sell? Mm -hmm. What could you do with your time, right? A lot of people know how to compound money, but do you know how to compound time? And that's what I see with EXP is the ability to uh, do something you'll never be able to do alone by yourself, right? There's a saying, and this goes into your question too, is you can run fast alone. Right. I think this is an African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And that's what EXP really has is the ability to collaborate with people, not just people in your local market to learn from right, and be hyper specific, but uh, to go out and learn from the greatest listing agent in the nation, to learn from the number one buying agent in the nation or in the world. Because real estate is real estate, no matter what market you're in. Yeah. And so to be able to connect and get authentic help and mentorship from so many different angles, you don't know what you don't know. And that's what I love about EXP and some of the things that I'm learning that it has to offer. I love that. So Kyle, you are one of the most positive people I've ever met. And I love that. <laughs> so I don't think you could ever say anything negative about anything. Um, yeah. You could make something that's bad sound good in some way. But I want you to dig deep and tell me your most favorite thing about EXP Realty. My most one. favorite oh, thing? Yes, your one. most favorite thing. Come on. 
Mm. There's one that when you go to sleep at night, you keep thinking about it. The, the if I, notes. if I, it's what? He has to check his notes, guys. I know, right? I was like, what did I write down that I didn't <laughs> write down? It's like a blank piece of paper. Um, <sighs> If like I when you add, talk to people about EXP, what do you tell them? Yeah, it, here's what it is, right? It, it it's um, hearts is really what it comes down to, right? It is it's people and their hearts. It doesn't matter again what you do. It comes down to this, and I've never seen. Uh, there's there's very rare opportunities in this world to find people that are genuinely going to help you achieve your dreams. Go find another company out there. Most people are trying to get one above, above you and they're not giving you the clues or secrets. They're trying to keep it from you. And here there is an open, true share. Like, hey, I want Rebecca to succeed because when she succeeds, because I have ownership in the company, I win, right? And it's yes. helping people. It's iron sharpens iron. And that's hard to find in any environment out there. Yep. And I think, and I've even thought this myself, like, I think I'm a pretty nice person. And sometimes I feel like that kind of bites me in the butt a little bit because I'm just positive and happy and same as you. So, and you see a lot of people that just aren't very nice, but they're uber successful. So it's, it is really refreshing to be with a group of people that are just positive and giving and they truly are nice people and they're successful. So it's nice to have that yeah. to follow. <laughs> so, yeah. so since you've come to EXP, do you have any regrets? Um, you know, I wish I would have seen the opportunity. Yeah, I know. I wish I would have seen this opportunity sooner, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it got launched in 2009 is when Glenn got it started. And it really started, I guess, uh, getting a lot of momentum in 2016. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, and so I, I wish I would have seen this sooner. I wish I would have been in the industry sooner uh, because what we're doing is really just getting started. If you're familiar with kind of um, the tipping point uh, by um, Glenn, I'm blanking on the author's name. I don't know why, but um, we're, we're sitting at like eight, nine, 10%. The tipping point is 12.5. Um, and that's when the mass... Uh, population adopts things and says, wow, this is something big. And so we're not even at that point, even though we're over 87,000 agents, we are still yet to hit the mass. I know. And so it's, it's about to get even better. And <laughs> the things that are coming down the road are absolutely amazing. I know. I'm excited about being on the, the front end of this and sharing the opportunity with other people. Yeah, because you really can share this with people and you actually know you're giving them a gift of something really big. So Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't need yeah. to sell anything. I just share goodness with people. I know. Yeah, it's the best part. So Kyle and I met last November, right, at EXPCon. We were waiting to get our luggage because the event was over and we had to go home and we just started chatting. It's so amazing how you can meet someone by a thin thread. Mm -hmm. Like I had been waiting all day for my flight because <laughs> it was late in the day. And we decided to get in a Uber together and we hung out at the airport, had a cocktail. And then we met another agent with EXP. And now he and I are I know you two, too. We're all connected now. And we had no idea that we were going to meet and meet such good people. So it was, for me, the best ending to an already amazing week. So, but that's how it is here at EXP Realty. Just good people. So, Kyle, if you were to talk to someone that was considering coming to EXP mm -hmm. Realty... What would be your best advice to them? 
Yeah. Um, real simple is what are your goals, right? What are you trying to achieve? I, I don't think everything's for everybody, right? But EXP was the best for me based on my goals and what I was looking to achieve. As a brand new agent, um, I was looking for one, mentorship. I was looking for someone that was going to hold my hand and teach me every little tiny step of the way. And hands down, uh, I got the best of the best, you know, teachers. I didn't just have one teacher. I had handfuls of teachers. Yeah, 87,000. <laughs> so, like, this is so cool. That, yeah, I could call anybody, chat anybody at any point in time. But I also had those genuine local relationships with people that I could meet up with and follow and mirror and shadow, which was wonderful. But, um, you know, you got to say, hey, uh, what am I trying to achieve? And does EXP and evaluate it for yourself and look at look at it holistically? I'm a long term thinker. Where are you going to be 10 years from now? What are you doing today? What is your exit strategy? Because eventually all, all I know is, you know, none of us get out alive. <laughs> and so, <laughs> no, uh, no, no one's figured that, that one out yet. <laughs> Yeah, sad thing, right? But I was like, okay, uh, when this thing comes to an end, right? Uh, what what difference it, am I going to make out there? And I wanted to do something that was long term, that was beyond my years, um, and so I wanted to share something that outlived myself. Yep, you know, and EXP offered that. I love that, Kyle. And you led with what do you need? You asked, what are your goals? And that is it. Your real estate business is about you and what you want to do with it and make of it. So that is the best answer. So good job. So Kyle, oh, I love that we are partners. I love that you're in my bestie group. I love watching you grow and your business explode. And I am so excited to see what we continue to do together. So I appreciate you, Rebecca, and uh, uh, the platform you've created and just your passion for people and sharing people's stories out there. So keep doing what you're doing. It is so thrilling to be running beside you. Oh, so cute. <laughs> well, I love this as well. It's fun. I love hearing people's stories and where they came from and where they plan on going. So I definitely plan to continue doing this. So with that, Kyle, I know you're so busy and you need to get back to doing your amazing talents. But thank you so much for sharing and your time. And I'm probably going to see you very soon. <laughs> Most definitely. We will see you again soon. Thank you so much. All right. Well, everyone take care and we'll see you next time on the good, the bad, the ugly of real estate.